Welcome back to the shop, friends. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, getting your EGT probes um, cut to the length. They come six foot long, and obviously you don't typically need them that long. So here we've got our box mounted. We've already put all the probes in and, um, and organized them and cable tied them up to this point right here, and then we're just terminating them and getting them to the right length. So a couple steps involved. Um, first, we'll put the little yellow piece in and we'll get this guy to lay like we want him to lay like we want the finished piece to be and right here in this area is where we want to cut it so we just cut our cable with some dikes right and <clears throat> let me take this back out all right so the next thing we need to do is put a little piece of um, 3 16 heat shrink tubing. I like to use um, the heat shrink that has the glue inside of it. So when you heat it up, the, the glue seals everything. It's called a marine heat shrink, I think. And also you wanna use a, a three to one shrink ratio, three or even four to one if you can find it, um, because that's gonna go from a big size to a very compact size. Anyway, we drop that over and now we're going to slide this shielding back. Uh, a lot of guys call me and they're like, hey, how do I cut the shielding? Well, you don't. You just you just push it back a little bit. All right. So we just push that back to work with it. And there's two wires inside of here. And each wire has insulation. And um, also there's outer insulation. So the best way to get into it is just to cut right between them with some dikes. Like that. All right, and then you gotta get that outer piece off, and it's kind of it's kind of slippery. You, you almost have to like scare it off. So I'll take the dikes and just kind of rough it up a little bit, and then it it falls back like that. Clip that, and this one it's it's trying to be difficult also. So we'll give a little squeeze of the dikes, and there it, it falls back also. That's more of a feel thing. I can't really tell you exactly how much pressure, but just a light pressure where you're scraping it, but not cutting the inside wire. All right, so now we're ready to strip the inside wire. I like this little stripper. We want to get rid of a, um, an eighth of an inch of insulation, so we just want to strip the very, the very tip of it. Only about an eighth of an inch is all it needs to come off. So this guy, <clears throat> we take him apart. All right. This little red guy, little rubber, we just throw that away because that's kind of a pain in the ass. We prefer to use the, um, the heat shrink. And we'll loosen these screws up a few turns each. If you notice the, um, if you can see, the little uh, washer falls back. So you're able to get the wire under the washer on each side. Not under the screw, but under the washer itself. And then the other thing to remember is, <clears throat> this is opposite from everything else you've ever worked on. Red is your negative wire. Okay, so red is negative. So we'll turn this over. And this is marked negative and positive. Remember, red is negative always. And you want to get the wires under the washer. And my vision's a little tired, so I'm fighting it some. There we go. So you push the wires up under the washer like that. And then snug these down a little bit. Make sure you're you're good and you're happy with it. And once you're happy with it, then you can really you can really cinch these down. They're actually going into 
another piece of metal that's on the inside of that plastic. There's actually a metal nut in there. So you can really, you can really tighten them. A lot more than you would think. All right, so now we have the wires that are secured. Our red is negative, and we're gonna slide this snakeskin back up um, about that far. So we, we wanna have the snakeskin and then a little bit of the insulation showing and then our screws. Just have maintain a little gap there in that outer shield because it will, if, it's, if it gets up in on the screws, it, it will ground it out and it won't read right. So now we'll slide our insulation and we'll slide the insulation past the snakeskin all the way up or heat shrink rather, we'll slide it all the way up to the um, screws, okay? Push that in there good. Now we get a heat gun. All right, so we take our heat gun. Draw that down, put some heat. Again, this, this has the glue in it, um, so it's kind of flexible now, but once it once it cools, it'll be pretty rigid because of all that glue. So we kind of push that down in the hole, and then we put the scale on and tighten him up. And it'll, it'll also kind of mash into that heat shrink. Okay, so you got those tight. And you can see it kind of it kind of mashed into the heat shrink a little bit. So this is not going to fall out. It's a really good secure connection. Now we could be done right there. We can take this and plug it in, and that's considered finished. However, everything on this particular car is either silver or black. I don't think there's any other color on the car. So just having the the yellow pieces stick out it's just kind of unsightly. So we're going to take a big old piece of three quarter inch heat shrink and put on there and we'll draw that down right on the edge and that will it's just to hide the yellow I guess it does give a little uh, support to the, the cable but the reason I'm doing it is to hide the, the yellow I'm not aware of any connectors other than yellow ones um, there are other colors available, but they're for different they're for different types of thermocouples, and the different types have different metal compositions. So these are, you know, the EGTs are type K, and they have to use these uh, aluminum and chromium, I believe is the name of the metal. Um, it's it's marked on there AL and CH, and they are different metals. <clears throat> fingers and kind of square that stuff up it's like I said it's full of glue so it's all gooey now but as soon as it cools off it'll be hard as a rock and we can shove that in and we'll probably get one more cable tie back here even those out just right and that's going to be you know a, a good clean installation and we got rid of most of the yellow so, there you have it. That's how to trim down your EGTs and put the ends on. And you'll have a great day. Thanks.